with Isabel Nunez. Great game. What was that game like for you from that view? It was really fun. Like, we, all the girls had a great time. Um, we were, we were pra practicing some um, plays during the... Um, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. During practice. And we utilized them and we used them during the match, was, which was a little new for us. So we were a little off. But... I think overall we had a great time and it was really fun. It yeah, really fun. it definitely looked like it. And by my unofficial records, okay, you had about 15 hits, uh, 15 kills overall today. Yeah. Um, as a player, you have a great swing, great approach, great timing, everything. What do you? I want to know what do you kind of tell yourself in the? I know it, it goes by quick, but as a player, when you're on the court and you're like, all right, this next set, this mm -hmm. next set is coming to me. What are you kind of telling yourself just to focus on? Yeah. Well. Like, during the whole match, like, you kind of know, like, w the basics of the game, and you want to continue that. Like, you can't get in your head. You have to, if you miss a serve, if you miss a pass, if you miss a hit, like, you have right. to keep on going. It's the next point. You can't hold on to that. And I think that's what I've worked really well on, like, this whole year. And I think I've grown from that. So yeah. if I miss a hit, it's okay. It's, like, next one. Yeah, you're right, you're right. And you're only a junior this year. I'm a junior, yes. Yeah. yeah, so you still got senior year yeah. to look forward to. Uh -huh. Can you tell us about that vibe? Your student section always comes, you know, in yeah. clutch here. What does it feel like playing in, in that kind of environment? I think it's fun. I think um, it motivates the girls a little bit more. We have a lot of fun. Um, you know, there's some games where we don't have a student section, and I think we still play good, you know, but we do feed off of that energy, and it helps, but yeah. Yeah, they definitely had some, they, yeah. some good chance. Some, <laughs> yeah, you know, they did. Chance. And like I said, we wish you the best of luck here yeah. as you Thank continue you. to play. When we come back, we'll speak to head coach Lauders here. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball on EP Sports Network. And welcome back to the Tuesday Night Volleyball Post Game Show brought to you by EP Omega Air Conditioning. We are here by with Coach Lauders from the America's Trailblazers. Coach, exciting game back and forth. You know, what were you telling your team? Well, you know, this is a, a rivalry game. You know, this is Battle of the East right here, and every time we meet this team, we never know what's going to hit us, you know. You've got to be ready to go and take care of business because especially even if they're having a down year, they can come up and take care of us, take us out. So we got to be ready to go. Game plan, game plan, game plan, and making sure we're ready to go. Keep getting that first ball kill mentality. Yeah, for sure. Coach, I just want to know, there wasn't a time tonight where you were down by a lot of points, but even when you're up by two points, by ten points, what are you telling your girls in that huddle to keep them kind of, like, focused in that game and keep driving? Definitely. It's important, again, to make sure that we don't get, um, what do you call it, flat-footed in terms of, like, keeping everything um, the same, right? Keep working, keep fighting, and keep pushing the game, right? Do not get go through and uh, keep making mistakes. We've got to find ways to go through, keep working them right, and keep make them make the mistakes so we can take care of business on our end. Yeah. Now, since taking over the program here, uh, how important is it for you to establish your culture for this team? Oh, definitely. Coming in, like I said, I, I was here last year a little bit uh, at one of the lower levels and so on, so kind of had some of that... Uh, um, connection and communication already with the girls and trying to get things worked out. So working with them over the summer and trying to get things in, into this season where it's been well to kind of kind of come in and just take control of it around, you know, practice shirts, mottos, things like that, just to keep us all in all in the same page. For sure. What's what would you say is your favorite motto between you and your girls so far? I think, like we said earlier, just, you know, next next person up right it's you know you're going to go through sometimes someone have have a bad game but you pick someone else up and they pick us up to make sure that we're taking care of business and put us in play to, sure. to score some points so yeah. perfect Love coach, coach we wish you the best of luck in the rest of this district because your district is one of the, the tough ones here <laughs> but tell me about it <laughs> yeah. high, high competition there yes so yeah. we'll have a lot of work to do still and we'll have some time to to go and reassess some of these games that we we may have not uh, done so well in last uh, the turnaround and we'll see where we are going forward right it's a seven-game season now, so Perfect. that's where we're at. This is uh, Coach Lauders for the America's Trailblazers, who his team uh, sweeps the Mountwood Rams here Tuesday night volleyball on the EP Sports Network. I am Mesa Costa alongside Haley Montoya and Fernando Montsmardino. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Thank you for watching Texas High School Volleyball on the EP Sports Network. Visit us at epsportsnetwork.com for your source of sports and entertainment.